Federal employees closely watching what is happening on Capitol Hill this week. The clock is ticking for Congress to pass a spending bill to avoid a government shutdown as early as this Saturday morning. Natalie Brand with more details tonight from Capitol Hill. Congress has until this Friday to pass a spending bill to keep the government open. With lawmakers running right up to the deadline once again, federal employees are worried about their paychecks right before the holidays. The vast majority make under $60,000 a year. Um, they've got families to support. They've got kids to support. House Speaker Mike Johnson has proposed a two-step stopgap measure to extend funding through January 19th for agencies including transportation, housing, agriculture, and energy. The other agencies, including defense, homeland security, and state, would be funded through February 2nd. There's nothing magical or, or mysterious about it. It would just be effectively two phases. Already, the plan is facing pushback from some House GOP hardliners who are upset the proposal keeps funding at current levels and doesn't make cuts. Democrats have also criticized the plan, calling it a recipe for more shutdowns. And it does not include emergency aid for Israel, Ukraine, or the southern border, setting the stage for a separate fight. I'm not going to make a judgment what I'd veto, what I'd sign. But let's wait and see what they come up with. The speaker's plan could come up for a vote in the House as early as Tuesday. With only four votes to spare, House Republicans may need support from House Democrats to pass a short-term spending bill. But working with Democrats to pass the last stopgap measure is what prompted some House Republicans to vote to oust then-Speaker Kevin McCarthy.